welcome back to Maggie's Kitchen. Today we'll be making a chocolate chip cookie slash brownie frosted cake. Let's say. Okay. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe to get those notifications and check out my other videos. Let's get started. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm a little hyper today because I gotta stay up till like midnight making this cake. It's gonna be like a two hour video. You'll be needing two cups of butter, which is four sticks. Two, three. <laughs> that was the oven. Oh, I forgot to mention that uh, heat up the oven to 350 before you get started. Mine just beat. It's done. Okay, four sticks of butter. Throw that away. Three teaspoons of vanilla. Where's my teaspoon? Three teaspoons. We're gonna be using like dum dums in this cake and chocolate, a lot of chocolate. It's gonna be good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my kind of cake. Okay, next we need four eggs. One, two, three. Don't know why I'm doing a southern voice. Four. <laughs> Throw these away. Wash your hands. That was barely a wash, but I need paper towels. <laughs> I need the paper towels <laughs> from the camera guy. Okay. are going to go to the mixer and mix it up. So we are back with our mixed up butter, vanilla, and eggs. And we now we are going to add in dry ingredients except for powdered sugar was supposed to be, it is a wet ingredient, so remember to add that in before, but it's fine right now. Um, so first we will add in one and a half cups of powdered sugar. This is what makes the um, chocolate chip cookies so fluffy. Okay, one and a half cups. Okay. Um, two teaspoons of baking soda. Two teaspoons of salt. And two cups semi sweet chocolate chips. You can use any other kind, but right now I'm just using regular chocolate chips. and get this in yeah this bag is about two cups I think <laughs> I think yeah that's two cups okay we don't need the other bag but you can add in more if you want probably what I'm gonna be doing but um the flour you need six cups of flour, but you are just going to add that in gradually as you mix on the mixer. So I'm going to go over, over it and mix. Remember, add gradually. Six. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so this is what our cookie batter looks like. Um, once you're all done with that, uh, get a big pan out, um, grease it with butter. I melted the butter, just took a brush, greased it on there, and I would recommend putting wax paper on it so you're not sitting there and breaks up when you try and take it out. It really works with me, with all my cakes, so, um, then just butter on top of that, like I did here. So... What you want with this is to put, spread it out like a regular rectangle cake, but, um, the, the, um, thickness, you know, the height and the thickness need to be like a regular cookie with chocolate chip cookies. So, what I'm going to be doing while I'm putting this in is showing you how, um, what the height is you want it to be and everything else. And we'll get to how long you're going to be putting in the oven after we put the dough in the pan. So, I've got it all patted down in the pan. This batter, like, we didn't make quite um, enough batter, but it's just only about, like, an inch more that we needed, so it's, like, fine. Let's do more um, brownie batter. Uh, but we need, you need it to be about a half an inch in the height. And, um, I've never really done this cake too many times before. So I think we're going to be putting it in the oven for 12 to 18 minutes. Maybe you could try 15, like, first, you know. Check it with toothpick or whatever you want. Uh, just make sure it's done. And we'll be back to show you what it looks like after. And we're going to be getting on the brownie batter. Okay. Um, looks like the brownie is going to be taking close to uh, 30 minutes, actually. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, looks like the um, cookies are taking close to... The, um, <laughs> okay, it looks like the, um, cookie cake is taking close to 30 minutes, actually, so you're going to want to put in for more time, but, um, we are going to start off with the wet ingredients for the brownies. First off, we're going to be putting in six eggs. Make sure they're farm fresh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> So we can actually do a cake. So make sure to do a double batch. So it's, that's what the recipe we gave you for is. And this is a triple because we need a lot of brownies. Um, then we need a one and a half cup of butter, which is uh, four, three, sticks of butter. <laughs> yeah. Um, three sticks of butter. Okay. Get down in there. Um, you'll be needing uh, three teaspoons of vanilla. Doing my sour voice again. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why I'm hyper today. Alright. 
Then um, three and three fourths of cup sugar. <laughs> um, <laughs> three cups. Three one. <laughs> three and three fourths of cups of sugar. <laughs> one. Okay. Two. Three. We are doing our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients separate. So I have another bowl that I'm going to use for the dry ingredients. Oh, that's the cookie cake. Just wait. Um, wait a second. I'm going to go and check on it. So this is what your uh, cookie cake is going to look like. <laughs> And now we are going to go back to the brownies. Okay, uh, now we're going to go over to the mixer and mix our wet ingredients for our brownies. Okay, now we are going to move on to our dry ingredients. Uh, with the brownies, we're not going to add the flour and gradually. We're just going to add, add it in. Okay, so we need one cup of flour. And I have a, um, I have a, uh, sifter, <laughs> I can't remember what these are called, um, sifter that helps get clumps out. You don't want any clumps in there or else, like, it'll ruin your batch. You don't want any clumps. I've had that before in, like, pancakes with baking powder. It is not good. Um, then for the salt, we're going to be using one and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay, um, for the cocoa, we're going to be using one and one fourth of a cup of cocoa. I mean, two and two fourths of a cup of cocoa. I mean, two and one fourth of a cup cocoa. I'm getting. I really need help. <laughs> okay. That was it. One of those was like sweet. Just the amount we needed. So. We don't need that. <laughs> we don't need that one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Chip that down. If you have any clumps, just like try and take them and uh, spoon. Just take them, press down to just grind them down. You want all that cocoa that you can get. Okay, we are going to get a whisk and uh, whisk it up. it up. Okay, so I'm going to take this over here. I'm going to switch. Put this one on. This one's for batter. That. And now, this is my wet mixture that I mixed up. I'm just going to take a cup at a time and just put it in. You know what? So, um, our cookie cake is cooled down. We're just going to show you what it looks like and how we got it out. We, um, we took a cooling rack just like this 
and put it on top to where the um, things that hold it up on the table are on the um, top. And uh, we put it on there, flipped it, um, we just took the top off, I set it down, and it came out perfectly because the wax paper worked. So what we're going to be using for the brownies is we're just going to be using the same pan, buttering it the same way that I showed you, and putting it in the oven for, um, at 325 now, for about 30 minutes. If you need more, just put it in for like 10 more minutes and check it, okay? So now we got our pan ready. Just do the same thing that we did last time. Wax paper works really good. Um, we are going to, so the details for putting the batter in, we are just going to scoop it out, put it in. This is going to rise up. The cookie doesn't rise up. It didn't rise up. Uh, so um, this you need to put in for, like, put in the height is like three quarters of an inch or to a half an inch because um, we don't want it rising up. Um, over our cookie uh, and put it in the oven like I said 325 for about 30 minutes if it doesn't go just put it in for like an additional 10 minutes okay now we are going to put this in the oven for about 30 minutes um, you can see we got it all evened out and uh, again we didn't have quite enough to do the whole pan but we're just gonna see how this turns out and um 30 minutes so um we are going to start the frosting uh while the brownie is cooking i kind of made up this recipe but i know it's gonna work because i've kind of done this before um so i've got one carton of heavy whipping cream and i don't know how much it is in cups so i'm just gonna measure out for you and tell you uh after Pretty sure this will be enough. It isn't. Um, I'm just gonna make some more. One, two, three. Okay, so this wasn't a full carton, but a full carton, which you would probably be using, is four cups. I have three and a half, but it's fine. I think this will be enough. And, okay. So, our cream cheese just got out of the microwave. You want to microwave it if you had it in the fridge for about two minutes and um, out on time to frost if you have a microwave. Other than that, just put it in the oven if you need to. And um, this is uh, four ounces, which is uh, one stick regular stick of uh, cream cheese. Just gonna open up this. Oof, man. This is hard. Okay, just dump this in. Okay. Now, I have, um, these things are jelly beans. I, like, you know, thing them up in the mixer. I mean, not in the mixer, the blender. But, um, you can use Skittles, jelly beans, anything like that, except for your only choices are, like, jelly beans and Skittles. And I'm just going to pick this one. I have a lot of this, so, and then I have my food colorings here. I will put this one in and then tell you what I'm going to do. And I separated the color, so you can do that or just, like, mix it up, whatever. I'm just kind of doing this because, like, uh, you know, um, the colors, I want different colors. Um, I'm going to put pink in here because I don't seem to have a red. If I can open it. <laughs> Cheese. 
Um, you want to put about a quarter cup of the um, blended jelly beans in. That was a little bit more, but you know, it's fine. I'm uh, just going to put this in. This one's pink. It might turn out to be a red. If it does, thank you, but um, might not. Okay, um, you just want to take this to the um, mixer and mix well. Okay, so we decided to need a little more flavor, so we're going to add in the green jelly beans too, and um, it won't change the color at all. Okay, so this is what your frosting should look like. I added in more flavor, more jelly beans that I ground up. Um, more flavor. Uh, anyway, and um, when our brownie layer is done, we will be frosting this, and after I frost it, I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so um, before we put the brownie layer on, we are going to, I have some melted almond bark, white chocolate and regular chocolate. I'm just going to do it like half and half. Instead of putting frosting on there, it'll be a nice crack and it'll taste better. <laughs> okay, just going to spoon it. Okay, so we just kind of swirled it like this, um, with the white chocolate and the regular chocolate. And, um, we have the brownie layer done, so we are going to put that on now. Let's do it too long. Okay, so this is what the two layers look like on top of each other. Um, so I'm going to tell you how we got the brownie layer on top of the cookie layer. Obviously, the cookie layer was um, easier because it hardened while the brownies stay soft. So we had to take this, another cooling rack, we had to put it on top and we just flipped it. I took it down, put it on there, and then we had to take our um, cutter and we cut it one, two, three. We had three parts. And from there, we just took the two metal spatulas, went under, carefully lifted it, put it on, and I made sure I evened it out, and it worked really good. Okay, so I'm just going to show you to um, a couple lines just to uh, help you get the gist of what I'm going to be doing. First, I'll show you the thing, then I'll just kind of, like, demonstrate the side. So, you're going to be getting a piping bag like this with a wide tip. And you're just going to, like, I'm going to do it over here. Make a few lines. Preferably first where the cracks are. And, you know, it doesn't matter what the thickness is or anything. Just do lines. And, uh... After, um, get a butter knife. Oops. Get a butter knife, <laughs> like, like this, and just, um, you know, go out side to side. Got it. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We got the juice. Okay, so this is what the cake looks like when it's done, when it's all frosted. And, um, we're gonna be putting more stuff on it, but for now, just showing you this. And, um, works out really good. Make sure to try this recipe. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.